Looking at my comments on my video about entering a 90 day video challenge, uh, I see this little comment here by Russell Tyler. And Russell writes, John Chow, there was no way in hell that you were gonna get someone to pay you $1,000 to wear their t-shirt when your videos don't even get 1,000 views. Watch your blogger? Yes. You never successfully transitioned to video marketing, did you? Huh. Okay. So let's have a look at Russell here. Um, Black Avatar? Zero subscribers. Yes, I'm sure Russell is a super knowledgeable guy when it comes to marketing. And now, to answer this question, you never successfully transitioned to video marketing, did you? Uh, no, because I never transitioned. My main, I'm still a blogger. My blog is still up. I didn't like went from blogging to video marketing. I went from blogging, still, and I added video marketing. All right. So, and as for one th getting someone to pay one thousand bucks to wear my wear wear their T-shirt for one video, that would probably be true. But however, sponsorship packages come in will be in multiple videos, so I won't be just wearing the uh, the client's T-shirt for one video. It'll be it'll be a deal across multiple videos. However, if I wanted to get one thousand dollars for one video, I can. Not because the video is worth a thousand bucks to get sponsored, but because of relationship. See, a lot of company will, will basically contact me and do a lot of things just to get my attention. Right? It's not because of the views or anything. There was a time uh, Brain Host tried to steal me away from, a, from HostGator. And what did they do for Affiliate Summit? They rented the Las Vegas racetrack, invited me and 30 of my readers to go race Ferraris and Lamborghinis around the track in the hopes that I would do business with them. So, you think uh, if I call Brain Host and say, hey, uh, give me a thousand bucks or wear your t-shirt for a video, you think they would do it? Of course they would do it. Not because of the value of the video view, but because of the value of possibly doing business with me. See, that's where the money is, and that's uh, something that uh, Mr. Russell Tyler here does not understand. We're headed for the top of the world park. This is in uh, Laguna Beach and it's a it's a little park with hiking trails and stuff. I got the drone with me. We're gonna go fly the drone and check out Laguna Beach. I took the drone with me to Vegas with the intention of flying it down the uh, Las Vegas Strip. And then I, I did a little check on the rules and stuff, and yeah, no, no, no way, not a chance. Uh, apparently, the Las Vegas Strip is within five miles from two airport, and also the strip is clearly labeled as a no-fly zone. If I were to fly it, uh, not only would my drone get confiscated, I would be arrested and put in jail. Yeah, and especially after that, you know, that recent shooting a few months back from the Manly Bay. Yeah, so. I thought about maybe, oh, I'll just do it anyway, but then uh, I was advised strongly not to do it. Did you fly the drone already? No, we're going to oh, fly the drone now. We saw another drone over there that looks exactly like yours. You saw another drone? Yeah. All right, let's get into the drone flight. I know how to fly it. You think you know how to fly a drone until you crash it. Now take it out. You said that you can't crash this, remember? You said yeah, it's pretty tough to crash, I must admit. Ah, uh, all right, so. Looks like a frog. <laughs> well, stupid me, so much for flying a drone. Forgot the memory card. Duh. Duh. Hey, we're gonna go hiking, come on. See, this is why you don't have boys. Two crybabies over there, trying to complain to the mom that they don't want to go hiking. You guys not gonna want to go hiking? Okay, suit yourself. Bye. <laughs> and this is why you don't have boys and you have girls. Okay, let's go. Did they, how did they behave? Okay, I'll, you, you pretend to be him. Let's go hiking. <laughs> and the guy's like, no! <laughs> have you ever met such wimpy boys before? They're just annoying, that's it. The view from the top of the world is pretty good, eh? Well, it's not the top of the world. Well, it's the top, it's the top of, of the Orange world. County. <laughs> I don't know why they call it the top of the world. Obviously, we are nowhere close to being on top of the world, but, no but hey, whatever. The the you are standing on top of the world. I'm a rebel. 
Sally, what, what are those? Oh my god, it's whale tails that dive into the ground. Ground whales. <laughs> oh, you mean ground whales. Grounded whales. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh my god, they're really strong. Oh, they're really strong too. You can sit on them. Sally's riding the tail. They're as big as a whale. Wow, look at that. Wow, Sally. We really are on top of the world. <laughs> this is the uh, Audi R8 Plus. It uh, has a nice 610 horsepower V10. It's it looks beautiful. It's uh, this is the white one. It's got every option, even the uh, carbon fiber in the engine bay. Carbon fiber side blades, side blades, and beautiful red interior. Dry carbon fiber here. What do you guys think? Two hundred and six thousand six hundred dollars. One fan, don't worry about Rolls Royce, it's getting enough headroom. More than enough headroom in here. Man, this is like the Mac Daddy. <laughs> oh, God. The finish, the quality material, it's, it's just insane. Totally insane. Time to check out some Austin Martins. There you go. This is what I'm talking about. The Vanquish Convertible. It's like perfect for California. Maybe not today because the sun's kind of overcast, but any other, any other day. The interior of this thing is insane. My God, it's, everything's in leather or metal. It's all carbon fiber. The smell of leather, oh, insane, totally. <sighs> insane price too. I just got home. It is uh, oh, 9, 9 p.m. right now. And so it's been a it's been a fun day. Uh, got to go to Top of the World Park, do some hiking, and then got to uh, visit a couple of dealerships, check out some cars. The uh, Audi R8 was was very very nice. Uh, much much roomier than the Lamborghini Huracan, so that's something to consider. Uh, the Austin Martin, wow, <laughs> the Austin, that, that that's amazing. Now, after I left the dealership, the guy, the the, the salesman gave me this. This really cool, really cool brochure. It's one of the coolest brochure I've ever seen. So, check it out. You open it up, flap, and then, and the brochure is in here. <laughs> it's just cool or what, huh? That's so cool. So, yeah. It's a, it's a nice brochure, but that's not what's really neat. What was really neat was this. He gave me the Austin, Ma Austin Martin magazine. So, Austin Martin really has a, has a lifestyle magazine. and. You know, it's, it's a full-blown magazine with advertising and everything, but what's unique about it is uh, when I opened it, 
Check it out. It's in Chinese. Yes, this whole magazine is in Chinese. Kind of gives you an idea of who Austin is targeting as their customer, doesn't it? But mind you, there is an English version as well if you request it, but the default version it was in Chinese. That's what they had on the floor.